What's up YouTube? This is All Things Quick. Today we're going to have a quick tutorial guide on how to reset your Google Nest Mini if it's went off of Wi-Fi or if you're setting it up for the first time. Today I'm going to show you two different ways to do that. One is if it's been disconnected and two if it hasn't been set up and it's connecting for the first time. So in this short tutorial I'm going to show you how to do that. First of all what you'll need to know is what your device will tell you if you've been disconnected from your Wi-Fi. You'll simply just say okay Google. Hang on while I get connected to Wi-Fi. And that's what you'll hear and that's what you don't want to hear. So you'll know for sure that you're off of Wi-Fi if she tells you that. I can't find the Wi-Fi network. You might want to check the modem or router connections. And that's another thing that you'll hear if it's not connected. First thing that you'll have to do, whether you're reconnecting or are setting up your Google Nest Mini for the first time, is you'll have to download Google Home. So Google Home is the icon that's in the center of my screen. Click on that. So the first way that I'll show you is on the top of the screen here underneath the word Home, you'll see set up three devices. So in your case, you may just have one depending how many Google Nest Mini you actually have. Sometimes it doesn't show up on the screen to set it up in that category there and in which case I'll show you on the second way to connect but for this one we'll click on set up three devices and so here you'll see a list of your home address if you have this in already this is for connecting your Google Nest to Wi-Fi after it's already been connected so in this case I've already had this this is my home address I'll blur it out in the video but just know that my home address is there so I would click on that and then I'll click next now it's looking for device devices. For me it's going to show up probably with all three of them and there we go. So now we see all three of my Google Nests. Now each one of these I've named them myself just with weird quirky names. Just know that the Benjamin Franklin one is the one for my kitchen, the George Washington is the one for my bathroom, and the Dirty Shop Dog is the one that's in my garage. So right now I'm actually upstairs and we're going to deal with the one that's in my bathroom. So I'll click on George Washington here and in your case it will just say whatever your default is is or if you change the name you'll see that yourself so click on that next now it's connecting and we're gonna wait for a sound so now it's connected it's asking me did I hear that sound and we heard in the background yes we heard that sound so we'll click yes this is helping to improve Google Nest this you can just opt out of that you don't have to have anything sent to your phone I'm gonna click no thanks and so my Wi-Fi here I'm gonna click on this which that one's mine, it's already there. Then I'll click next. It's connecting to the Wi-Fi and there we go. So that one's set up. So just note that when you are actually setting that up, this is what you should see if it's connecting and trying to find the Wi-Fi network. It's a solid blue LED strip here. And if that's not like that, then it's not working properly. And now that we know that it's connected to the Wi-Fi, we're just gonna test it by asking it a question. Okay, Google, are you connected to Wi-Fi? If I'm answering, then I have an internet connection and I'm ready to help. So that's what you can do to test if your Google's actually connected to the Wi-Fi. So what I've done is I've actually disconnected my bathroom speaker from the Wi-Fi and removed it from there so I can show you how to set it up for the very first time. We're going to go back into our Google Home app. What we're going to do is come up here to the top left corner in our Google Home app. Click that plus button. I'm going to click set up a new device. Click new device. This is my home address. In your case, for the first time, you'll put add another home and type in your address. Right now, I'm going to click on mine next and just follow through the steps if you're adding your address for the first time. So we're going to look at this. We're going to set up a new device. This first one is the Nest Mini and then it has a code to it. We're going to click that because that one I know is mine. So we'll click that. Click next. So right now it has solid blue LEDs like I showed you before. Now it's connected. Did you hear the sound? Yes, we heard the sound. Click yes. This is help improve. No, we're not going to be interested in that. So click no thanks. And we're going to name this what this is. This one's in my bathroom. So we'll click on that. Next. Click on the Wi-Fi that's yours. First one's mine. Next. So now it's connecting to the Wi-Fi. So the solid blue lines have now changed to cycling through white LEDs back and forth. That means that you know that it's working. 
Great, now it's connected. That means that we're done and we'll click on next. That's just telling you what your Google Assistant will do. So activate the voice. You can do this right now. I think that it will know mine if it's on the Wi-Fi, but we'll click next and we'll authenticate our voice. I agree. My Google Nest already recognizes my voice because I have two other Google Nests attached to my Wi-Fi network. So for you, you'll just have to go through. I think you say, okay, Google several times, then it will recognize your voice from there on. So this, we We'll click I agree. Next, next, more things it can do. Next, not now, not interested in that. Almost finished. Continue, click not now. I don't wanna learn about the controls. You can read your owner's manual for that. Now our bathroom speaker's ready. Continue. To learn a few things you can do, continue in the Google Home app. So you heard that message and then that will tell you that it's good to go. You can just ask Google a question to know that it's connected to the Wi-Fi properly. All right, so we're just gonna finish this off by asking Google a question to make sure that it is connected to the Wi-Fi network. Okay, Google, tell me something interesting. Here's one. It would take 15.4 minutes for the Nile River to fill the Great Pyramid of Giza with water. All right, so that wasn't really a question, but anyways, now we know it's connected to the Wi-Fi network. So if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and comment down below if this actually helped you, if this was informative, if you like this video, uh, just let me know down below. And don't forget to subscribe. So we'll see you in the next one. See you later.